This video is not meant for children and is brought to you by support from Patreon. Hello, hello, and welcome back. I am Maester Alix, and this is XCOM Chimera Squad, and this is still day zero. But I am so glad that everyone is here, and welcome. So, we only have our four squad members, and we only have the one thing we can do. Let's go do that. 3-1 PD needs help pouring through the aftermath of tonight's attack. Mayor Nightingale's death is, has the city on edge. Let's do what we can to help. Sending the APC to resolve the situation automatically advances the day. Are you ready to proceed? Yes. Ah, so this is a this is what we call a non-mission, and we sent the APC and we learned things. Opened a few doors. Here's what we know: a crude plasma bomb killed the mayor. The insurgents had no access to materials for that. Does that mean they had outside help? Most likely. There are three groups in City 31 with access to this kind of ordinance. Okay, so uh, here's where we're going to start crafting our own plot. We have three groups of bad guys that we can learn about. We got the Progeny, a loose network of human scions. Their vision for 30, City 31's future is entirely psionic, whether the city wants it or not. Grey Phoenix. An organization of alien scavengers, they have quietly amassed the kind of weaponry reclamation is mandated to recover. Or, um, oh, Sacred Coil. An underground religious movement for hybrids. They preach salvation, but only to those who once fought XCOM. So, Scions, Salvagers, or, uh, Religious Nutcases. Oh, let's get the Scions out of the way first. Progeny have a small but loyal human membership, all with psionic capability. Victims willingly hand over what the progeny need, then forget the whole thing. The perfect crime. Damn. Director, these are local criminals. Isn't that 3-1 PD's jurisdiction? True. The reclamation agency supports local police, but we're also required to recover dangerous material. From those who would do the world harm, and each of those groups is neck deep in the stuff. So what next? Focus on a single group. Investigate, dismantle their operations, and take them down. Meanwhile, we look for any links to the mayor's death. Either way, a dangerous organization is off the streets. Exactly. The city wants justice for Mayor Nightingale. This is how we help them achieve it. Nice. All right, every, guess, every investigation has three stages. Groundwork. From the first mission, learn about the faction and their methods, operations, hidden missions that must be revealed and then completed to knock out the faction's main plans, and the takedown. Stop their final attack and end their threat to City 31. So, we're investigating the progeny. We're in progress, and we basically know nothing. Um, that We know they're scions, and uh, progeny leadership is entirely psionic. Okay. So we're gonna go back. All right. So we can, assembly is now online. We can build stuff. We have a new recruit and there's a critical mission that must be done today. But first, the new recruit. The armory is where you manage your agents. The director convinced the city council we're too understaffed to be effective. This means we can bring more agents to city 31. It's not the whole squad, not yet, but it's something. Okay. We have Claymore. He's our bombs guy. He, he likes um, blowing stuff up. Patchwork. She uses a drone and does the hacky thing. And Axiom. Uh, oh yeah, utility, electronic disruption, explosives, AOE, breaching, high damage, cover destruction. Uh, everyone's really good, but I think we're going to go with Axiom first. Whisper, there's a problem. Axiom, welcome. What's wrong? I, uh, noticed someone took the biggest locker. Yep, that was me. I knew you'd get here eventually and grabbed it so no one else would. Hmm. Don't worry, I'll move my stuff. 
Yeah, that's the problem. I already did. Violently. You... didn't you see the note? Yeah, afterward. I'll replace what I can. Yep. And uh, yeah, he's a muton. Full-on muton alien who's now on our side. So one very critical important thing for everyone who knows uh, my... Uh, there it is. My Battletech series. No, no, no. Paint. Highly important. Alright, we'll worry about his loadout when we get him onto the APC. And his abilities include right now... Um... No special ones. So he, he can smash. Charges to, to, charges to a target and smashes down with both fists. Chance to stun, disorient, or render unconscious. Higher rage improves the chance to apply a disabling effect. Rage. Higher rage raises the chance of applying disable effects with melee attacks, but also increases the risk of going berserk. Rage can be increased manually or by taking damage. And then there's psych up. Axiom increases their rage. Higher rage... Ah, uh, we already got that. So, uh, you... We'll get to the more detailed tooltips later then. Okay, so we have five agents. And one of which can go into assembly to make things faster. Now, do I want to change anything out? Well, let's see. I'm going to keep Verge because he's a psychic. But I'm going to swap out Cherub for Axiom. Because I want Axiom on the front lines. And then we're going to put Cherub in assembly. Headquarters sent us an assembly. And with the right patterns, we can build anything. Or we could with the latest version. What you're looking at is the extremely finicky 2038 model. It'll take time to stress test our patterns, but once we have them, we're good to go. Thanks, Whisper. Illyrium is one of three resources reclamation requires and spent to complete projects in assembly. All right, so Verge, thank you. And we'll start with per Android personnel. Cost 10 Electrum and 1 Day. And the, the Day uh, thing is what... Oh, no, Verge. Wait, no. Oh. I messed that up. Cherub. Right. Yes. Verge, Axiom. There we go. There we go. And then... Cherub, if you could go here. Thank you. So, here's our armory, which we covered. Our temporary field office has all the basics. Weapons, comms, and ammunition. Supply is where we request everything else. As long as it's in the squad's budget, it's ours. Okay. We can get a sweet deal on combat-grade androids. I know. Everyone hates them. Alright. I definitely want to pick up a med kit. And Trank Rounds. And anything else that seems like a good idea. Ceasefire Grenade. I like those. Alright. Now we have a few bits and pieces to arm our people with. Check our investigation. Nothing new there. So let's get to this critical mission. Alright. Investigate the progeny. So our reward is 35 credits. Whisper here. I'll keep you updated on any activity requiring our attention. Speaking of which, the entire progeny front completely just opened a f opened fire on 3-1 PD. We should check that out, right? Yeah. Hostile forces need leadership to function. If authorized by the director, you may need to neutralize a hostile leader. Subduing your target is always preferred. Enemy leadership, if captured, provides valuable intel. Okay. God, uh, yeah, Godmother, we're going to give you the Trank Rounds. To which your gun is now called the Night Knight Cannon. Good for us. Alright, Terminal, we're going to give you the Med Kit, because you're already the healer. And, let's see, we want grenades. Uh, Verge. We'll give you the Ceasefire Grenade. Since you're already doing uh, strange, mind-meldy, hoodoo stuff, the magic that is a ceasefire grenade is yours. 
right, out we go. 31 PD asked to speak with this company's owner about his connections to the progeny. That's when his staff pulled weapons, and the police barely made it out. That's bad customer service. 31 PD, take any hits? Well, they took no casualties. Try to do the same in there. Okay, breach mode. We got side windows, main doors, and side windows. So we're gonna do a main door, and Axiom has a thing. At least he, he either does or will, where if he goes through a main door first, there's a good chance that uh, he'll roar and freak out the other guys. So if we did the side window, all units going through is get 50% dodge. Not bad. All units here get plus 25 aim during the breach. That's great. All units entering here get plus three mobility for one round. It's just one person, so I think I'll just keep everyone to the main door. So we're gonna go, uh, let's see, you, Verge, Godmother, and Terminal. Because you wanna keep your healer at the back so everyone has a chance to get hurt and then she can fix it. The only thing I might change is mother, you know what? No, let's put our two uh, our two shotguns up front. Go. Follow me. All right. So no target is is any more dangerous than the other. next. So get him. Lovely. You there? Time for a nap. Unconscious. Yeah, trank rounds. Oh, we couldn't get all of them. So I'm going to wound this guy as well. Once permission, an agent can be moved on the timeline so they can take the next turn. This ability is shared by the entire squad. Preparation. Preparation grants a defensive bonus and moves the agent's next... Uh, turn earlier in the timeline. Use this when the agent is caught in a dangerous situation to coordinate tactics. Yeah, team up is that uh, swap thing. That's preparation and everything else. Well, there you go. Civilian casualties will result in unrest increase in city district. Move adjacent to civilians to immediately remove them from play and rescue them. Can do. All right. Who's next? Which which thr So that thrall is the next guy on the uh, action economy. I'm just going to move you up here and blast him. 60%. More than more likely than not. Got him. Marvelous. Now godmother, here we go. And this guy is going to go take himself a nice nap. Hi. Target He's fine. Down. He's totally fine. Shotgun to the spine, big pool of blood. No, no. Totally fine. All right. Next encounter. Those were textbook advent tactics. They moved as one. Psionic impulses direct their actions. But their minds are empty. Oh, thanks for the heads up, Verge. We, <laughs> they're being remotely controlled. Okay, so we have this main door. Uh, last unit through this entrance will have their weapon disabled. Not great. Overseer, last unit through this entrance automatically reactivates Overwatch after the breach. These cancel each other out. I have Overwatch, but my gun is disabled. It doesn't matter. Security door, though. There are fewer aggressive enemies present at this entrance, and delayed scan. The last unit through this entrance is marked until the end of the encounter. Now, if I do this, we have to have Terminal go first, which is less than ideal, but it'll work. Let... And it says less or fewer aggressive, so good. Well, we're safer that way. So you know what? We'll just go straight up backwards. Godmother and then Axiom. And breach. It's go time. Like they were not expecting this side door. Okay. So we do have slightly more aggressive enemies at the back end, but... Alright, see about this thrall. Beautiful. Verge. Yep, take him out. Thank you. Godmother. 
Let's see if we can night night cannon someone, please. Not quite. Alright, well then we'll take out this slightly more aggressive guy. Or not, okay. That did not work as intended or hoped, but hey. You know, that's what random number generators are for. Keep, th keep me on my toes. Alright, so who's the next guy? This guy up here. Alright. Thirty-one percent. That's not great. Can I subdue him? Yes, and puts me at high ground and gets gets me behind cover. Do it. Stay down. Glorious. All right. So which throw? So that's the next one. Verge. Could you put him in a stupor, please? So he doesn't get a turn. Thank you. And we'll just battle madness the other one. Adds them to the neural network. Glorious. No, no, no! And then he shoots his friend. Beautiful. Oh, he got his turn anyway. Well, that's unfortunate. Please, keep wasting your effort. All right, Mama. This acolyte is next, so we'll night night cannon his butt. Hi. Nice to meet you. Good night. Drop the hostile. Axum gains range by using Psych Up or by taking damage. Higher rage increases the chance of disabling enemies with Axiom's melee attacks. So you know what? Let's do that. Alright. Psych Up. Axum increases the rage. And then smash. So, Psych Up. Who wants some? That thrall there wants some. You better give it to him. Hey, buddy. Target kill. Oh, well. Not disable. We got plenty of other time. We got plenty of other options. You're about to enter some offices. Now the owner must be holed up in there. Okay. And our options are the main door or breach the wall. Now no one has breaching charges, which is my failing. That's my bad. So let's see. Last unit through the entrance will be rooted for one round, so they can't move. That's fine. Let's go in our normal, regular options. And then... Now, if I put Verge here, can I get him to throw that grenade? No? It, oh, it's not a breaching item. Haha. <laughs> so yeah, Godmother, Verge, Terminal, go! Keep behind me. Will do, buddy. Oh boy, offices. Now, this guy over here is aggressive, will attack, so we definitely want to take him out first. And we did. Excellent. Alright, Godmother. Night, night. And in. Go, Verge, go! Oh, that's not enough. Well, let's see if we can finish him off. Terminal! There we go. Terminal is now rooted. She won't be moving from there, but that's fine. VIP spotted. Capture a fable. Clear the executive offices. Capture or kill the suspect. Well, capture would be ideal. Okay, we have one, two, three enemies. One there, one there, and one. Ah, uh, that's the account. Okay. So, can't, we can't uh, subdue the uh, Acolyte, but we can move around, get into position to shoot him, ideally before he has his turn, but, alright, 70% chance, flanking shot on this guy, 
And 48% shit. Oh no. He's not aggressive. That's what the yellow. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. Let's try getting this guy down. Well, that didn't work. No collateral damage. Soul fire. Ow. Stop it. Fine. It didn't hit bone. No, but you made him mad. Oh, now he's berserk. Well, I was trying to capture so we get more information, but I guess that's not happening now. I'm going to move here. So I can just shoot this thrall in the back with the night night cannon. Night night. Hostile down. Don't let it go to your head. It's fine. Verge, you would please go over here. On the way. And put this guy into a stupor so he doesn't get his next turn, please. That would be great. And Terminal can go heal up Axiom. Need a little help? There we go. Two hit points healed. Perfect. And we'll just have her on Overwatch, I guess. Keep it like that in case the guy does move, since she can't. Axiom. Hey, buddy. Um. Uh, let's see. You know what? We're going to put you in preparation. Because I really want Godmother to get this guy. So he, he can be night night Ed. Up and over. Good night. One less target. Confirm. All right. From seven captured enemies, you have gained twenty intel. Beautiful. All right, backing up. That seems like a very difficult parking spot. All right. Assembly complete. Android personnel. Rewards, 35 credits and 20 intel. Hey, Bradford. Aliens in your agency, Jane? What are you thinking? Is what the greatest... What is our greatest existential threat? The Elders returning. If they do, will they need to fight them off? Everyone? I get it. I've seen the projections. But do you really think the commander will go for this? I think the commander has always been a, a, the bigger pic... Been seeing the bigger picture. Yeah... Progeny went after expensive assets. What's behind their sudden need for funding? They have no love for hybrids, which presumes a motive to kill the mayor. As for means, psionics could give them the ultimate insider, a member of Mayor Nightingale's protective detail. Yeah, so let's, uh, let's continue working on these guys. Chimera Squad shut down a progeny front company. Reviewing the impounded data gave Reclamation a better chance, sense of progeny's scope and goals. Marvelous. All right. So. Spontaneous vigils broke out in honor of Mayor Nightingale, whose recent death still roils City 31. Thousands so. of citizens wish to pay their respects to our city's first freely elected mayor, said one attendee. She got it, you know. It wasn't about making things better for me and mine. Hybrid, alien, human, she did her best for all of us. The city council voted unanimously to hold elections within the month. Councillor Parada released the following statement. Mayor Nightingale once said, Governance does not need popular approval, but it requires the people's consent. Channel 37, Celio Dash reporting. All right. We now have ourselves a robot teammate. Uh, and we don't have any upgrades for them yet, but we will give it time, which is really great. Mechanical chassis. This unit is immune to poison uh, and fire damage, which is great. Special ops. Visit the special ops area to view available operations. And we have an Android personnel. So um, I'm going to mission types. Uh, there's a variety of kinds of missions. Investigations are uh, pure purple. Whether a groundwork, operation, or takedown, it will advance the game story. Side will appear yellow. They're optional, but provide valuable rewards. 
And emergencies are red. Dozens of hybrids have recently disappeared throughout the city. We suspect progeny involvement. Oh no. Find out if they're behind this. And if so, how they're doing it. Okay. So, the hidden... We have five days to work uh, on the hidden faction target. We could rescue a mayoral advisor or have these other things go off. But first, I want to change up who is on the squad. So, oh, the, the robot teammate is not actually teammate teammate. All right, so we're going to remove him from duty, except put you on spec ops instead. I'm authorizing Chimera Squad for special operations. Some ops provide useful resources for the squad. Keep an eye out for these opportunities. All right. So you can either gain us credits, gain us intel, or gain us Illyrium. It's going to take him three turns, but we're going to do it for Illyrium, or intel. Intel is kind of the most valuable resource. All right. Assembly is idle. We need to pick something. So more android bits, more armor bits, or more gun bits. And... Uh, I like keeping alive, so we're going to go with more armor bits for now. Two days and 25 Electrum. Glorious. Alright. So, this, two days towards the operational reveal and 35 credits. Chimera Squad, I'm Commissioner Maloof of 31 PD. Hi. To be blunt, I don't give a chrysalid's ass about the politics. I'm glad you're in the city. Oh, thanks. Was stretched thin before the mayor's death. There are gaps to fill, and that's where you come in. When your agents can handle a situation better than my officers, I'll send the details your way. If the Thank city you. council has a problem with that, I'll take the heat. They can't afford to fire me. I look forward to working with you. Thank you, Maloof. So we can get a weapon mod of a stock or 40 Illyrium. Well, Weapon mods are really nice, and stocks are really handy. So, um, yeah, if this was, uh, instead of credits or Illyrium Intel, we would go for that. But here, we're going to go on the riverside. Now, you're seeing this indication? That means unrest is going to be rising in those areas we don't go to. So we're just going to send the APC in that quick mission like we did at the start. If a hostile force will cause oh, never mind. Harm. You'll need to stop them by any means necessary. As always, subduing targets is preferable. We learn far more from captures than corpses. I have a new android. All right. So we're going to change these up. Godmother, as much as I love you having trank rounds, uh, I think Axiom, who ends up going f first more often, should have them. And uh, since we have... A little bit of money let's get ourselves a breaching charge which I uh, would also like to give axiom all right sweet now Hydra over here is our backup robot so if someone were to fall in the field and we have other stages to go we can give them uh, we can give it to the robot now we have a submachine gun a shotgun and assault rifle already so what you have doesn't fill any gaps good to good good However, before we launch that mission, here's where I'm going to say thank you all for joining me. I really hope you're enjoying this series as much as I'm enjoying making it for all of you. If you do, you know what to do. Also, check out the links down below because that's where all the really good stuff is, including a link to my Teespring store where you can get all the Maester Alix merch you could ever want or need, or a link to my Discord server where you can get your own personal hello, hello, and hang out with me and others who like my stuff. With that being said, I shall see you all on the next one. Thank you.